Hello and welcome back. This is Duty Time on Plus TV Africa. We have um, already talked about the Grammys. If you're joining us for the first time and you want to catch up on that, go to our social media and our YouTube live. Just reverse a bit and catch up. If not, join us as we move on to more heartbreaking things, guys. Gerard is over. I need a minute. And if you don't know who J. Rod is, that's Jennifer Lopez and Alex Rodriguez, who called off their two-year engagement according to multiple reports based on anonymous sources. So one, we're not leaning very strong. The former slugger proposed to the actor a couple of years ago after the celebrity couple started dating in the early 2017. The New York Post page said, um, the, the first report is basically that the couple had broken up. A representative for Lopez did not return an email request for this comment, so it has not been approved by the source itself. Last time Lopez and Rodriguez posted a photo together was last month in Dominican Republic, but there's also been many, many, many pop-ups of blogs um, picking up Rodriguez actually cheating with different women and stuff. So I don't know if you follow this couple, guys, did you? Well, I know of the existence. Right. <laughs> you know, oh, for followership? I, uh, follow? Mm -hmm. yeah. mm, no. no. I follow Burner Boys Grammy, though, but <laughs> this, no, not really. But you see, I mean, um, when I J saw Rod. this. Yeah, J Rod. I mean, his name J is J Rod. Rod He's going to cheat. Name Their names is, are Oh, oh, sorry. Their Jay names are together. Yeah, Jennifer Yeah, Rodriguez. but the, where is the Rod from? Rodriguez. Rodriguez. <laughs> Rodriguez. You know? That's how it's called. But either way. What's um, Rodriguez? What? Rodriguez. Why are you Rodriguez. doing your hand like... It's Rod. Rod. It's Gez. Who Gez? You're Rod. Who Gez? You know? But you see, um, <laughs> this is what I think. Right. Um, when I saw this, I just I just really look at the whole Hollywood and then look at this whole celebrity life and dating and all of that stuff. And uh, it, it just really boils down to one point. Uh, people's backgrounds were always told eventually when they grow up. Hmm. And uh, uh, incompatibility in backgrounds would always bring a split. Hmm. Right. So Very it's really true. difficult in trying to put a balance with as to who you date and how you date who you date. Hmm. Shows that what I mean. But uh, last, last, it would tell. I, I want you to put that into this people. What did you think? Do you think that they, their backgrounds are a bit... Well, let me, even start, let, 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 me even start with the fact that, that, let me even start with the fact that Jennifer Lopez is wanted by every man in the world. Uh, first of all. Full stop. First of all. That dude don't look like anybody wants him. No, that is <laughs> dragging your tea and his pockets. Maybe his pockets. His pockets are Maybe very deep. Maybe his pockets, His pockets are very deep. Yeah, so that's why he can... What was that? I'm wondering how he's holding his tea and he's not pointing on him. It's called balance, bro. Balance, okay. There we go. Okay, let's go on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I mean, yeah. But then um, he also raises a conversation we spoke mm. about one other time, which you mentioned, uh, which is um, about being in the public eye mm. and not, right? If, is privacy really going to help? Uh, is it really going to help your relationship last mm. a lot longer? Mm. We had this conversation a while ago. Mm. It kind of brings that. It kind of brings that back to mm. the table for me because I mean, if they weren't so public mm. and their relationship wasn't so casted, mm. <laughs> would they still be together? Mm. Is it possible? I mean, you have relationships that are public and they're doing well. You have. E.g. Please don't say Jay Z and Beyonce. <coughs> Why not? Because they're not doing the, well. Because the day they had the move, the meltdown they had. Is there any relationship? I feel like I feel like that meltdown was a lot. It huge. was a lot. It was. It huge. was way bigger than anything. Yeah. But they used it to cash in. So either way. Actually, yeah. with so, the lemonade so, album. What happens yeah. to the meltdown if it was big and it was did really they solve huge? The but you see, what, did they the, solve the problem? I mean, did they solve the problem. But you see, why it was so easy, or it was easier to solve the problem, is no matter how as big as they are, they always keep a lot private. Yeah. Jay-Z and Beyonce are very, very, they are very extra private. private. It's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. Because I don't know how they make you two, sign stuff, apparently. You know, that type yeah. of stuff. So it's very extra. That The height of everything we saw was, what's the Beyonce sister? Solange hitting Solange her. going out, uh, you know. The fact that Beyonce stood there and didn't do anything spoke thousands. Like, she, you know? is, she is allowing, she, he, she knows that what she's, they what she's doing They dropped two albums is, about the fight, bro. Yeah, you don't know. A lot. Lemonade album. And we're still looking for Becky with a good hair. We know you who know? Becky with good hair is. <laughs> who, who is she? Uh, not from my mouth, please. Tell us. What's the internet Well, they can't sue you. Ah. Maybe. They mm. can't now. Tell they us. They won't sue you, Aja. You don't have the money. They won't sue plus TV. They'll see my bank account and be like, mm. Mm. Yeah. like, let's help her. That's like breakfast. Um, <laughs> let's just let it go. Thanks.
Uh, yeah, you no, but who's be Becky, though? For breakfast who's Becky? Mm -mm, their breakfast. I don't see my bank, my whole net worth. I say that's just breakfast for us. Huh? Yeah. Who, who's well, Becky? No, I, for after one the show. I don't, want to, I don't want to promote. Yes, now it's been figured. Can you give me? Can you give me? No, no, TV. Hint. Anyway, back to, back to Jennifer. No, I really want to know. Jennifer and Rod. I mean, I think Who's what's really, really sad about the whole thing is Jennifer. Jennifer Lopez has always been the kind of person that, like, really wants to settle down and have kids and all of that. I mean, she's always been talking about that. And she's really tried. Like, I think with these relationships, she goes in for years. Like, years. And then think oh, now. Two. No, it's five. It's Dating, five. yeah. What? So and they didn't they dated for five? Yeah, they dated for okay, they, 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 they they five. Two years. Eight, two years ago. Okay. But they've been dating for five. Oh. So started, well, I mean they started officially dating publicly in two thousand and seventeen. Mm. When twenty one. Mm. Yeah. They're about. Almost five. We're in March. Mm. Maybe just say four. Let four me ask plus. you this. This is this is probably the most important question I would ask you all day. Becky with a good eh? Who is Becky with a Thank you! <laughs> Who you is? Tell us, man. Are we moving on to the next one? No! Story? I'm not saying it, guys. Okay, tell us who you heard. If allegedly. I, I feel like you know me though. Is he a Nigerian? That. Is he your friend? Allegedly. It's Because I'm trying to understand. It's Ogechi from Magodo. I didn't tell you. Why, why from Magodo? Why from Magodo? Why Magodo? Who's that guy for? Eh, yeah, Ubi Franklin. Yeah. No, no, Ubi Franklin now. Uh, <laughs> um, impeccable foods. Uh, that one now, that cook food. Our Nigerian bass boots oh, are making the good egg. Oh, what's it called now? Uh, Come on, mm, the food girl. What's her name? It's a Delta, it's not Delta, Calabar name, sort of. No, despicable food, or what is it? Okay, oh, well, we don't remember. Thank God. It's not important. Sorry for part of the story. The one that used to call it, um, And the one that's important, you're not telling us. Nollywood comic actor Kunle Idowu, better known as Frank Donga, has proposed a new pattern of governance for Nigerian politicians. Talk about this Talking to his Twitter page, the <laughs> film star suggests that politicians be given a six month probation after they are elected into the office. This, according to the actor, will reduce the level of corruption in the helm of affairs. In his words, and I quote, all politicians should be put on six months probation after election. Yes. Give them targets and KPIs like bank staffs and other companies. They will fail to, if they fail to meet up, they hand over the position. No, they hand over to the opposition. How can you collect salaries and enjoy AC without results? I tweet in peace. I like the idea, guys. <laughs> what do you think? I don't talk about <laughs> J-Road. Yeah. Hmm? You didn't let me talk about Gerard. Oh, okay. yeah, I do want to talk about Gerard. Should we go no, back no, to Gerard's no, no, story? Let's just move on. We're, we're in the next phase. We're in 2021. We're in politics. We're in heavier mm. storms. So I, I, so I agree with um, Dunga. Guy, you took the talk. <laughs> no, man. Now your work, then they pay you, but... No, man. Well, why did they talk too much? <laughs> Guy, you don't go talk small, small. No, man. <laughs> you want to take my shine. <laughs> no, Can you let somebody else speak, please? No, Thank uh, you. Uh, uh, what do you mean of this? Only you spoke about J Rod. I'm begging with the good day. And Fandonga again. Don't <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to. I'm going to. Oh my God. All right, bro. Yeah, so you were saying. <laughs> All right, so I totally agree with uh, what's it called now? Fandonga in this one. Because mm. um, I feel like when you get a job, there's a mm. six month probation for everybody. Is there really? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. You didn't do it yet. <laughs> You haven't done No, it. you did not read your letter well. <laughs> I'm sure you are. I'm letter. sure you are. I'm sure it's there. You didn't have a review. Mm -mm. I apologize. It's there. I'm, see, when you're good, fam, you're good. No, it's not about being good. It is actually. What is it to review? That's it. It's some ignorant though. talk right there. Huh? That's mm. some ignorant talk. No, wow. Ignorant. Yeah, mm. very ignorant. No, wow. Because well, um, I didn't get a review and you did. I'm sure that's some, that has to hold water somewhere. Wow. I held. I oh, had my review on. after two years, but I had my review. Wow. If I, are you, now, are that explains a lot. Mm. Now that I know you have not been reviewed, it actually mm. does And I'm still here. You're Why still here. Why do I feel like you're talking to the HR now? I'm telling you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. and I'm still here, fair. I'm still doing my job. So go Come on. on. Don't, 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 don't make this personal. I'm my love. Ah, uh, baby, baby boy, it's very personal. I'm it's not my job. It's not me. Oh, baby boy. Okay. Now let's move on. I'm talking about Frank Donga. I think like when everybody gets a job, you know, you have a six month review, and um, they expect you to do certain things. And the higher you go in the job, right? They 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 say to whom much is given, much is expected. Yeah. So um, of course. 
if I'm expecting a lot from my politicians, I think they should be held accountable. But not once have these people acted like they're accountable to, um, you know, Nigerians and um, the people that put them in power. Because I saw a funny interview with one of our politicians. I was asking, I was like, no, this is my role. Yeah, Why are you asking me this particular question? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? I So I don't want to mention the politician's name but i feel like if you're in politics and if you're getting into politics and you're getting empowered for certain things regardless of what is going on you have to be well breasted in it especially when it comes to you know the welfare mm. of the people you're held accountable for your office because i don't i'm not putting a local government chairman to be my local champion mm. Do you understand what I mean? I feel like if you're my local government chairman, you're my spokesperson as the grassroots. So if you're not speaking up for me, why are you mm, there? Mm. I'm not putting you there to be putting taps and be putting Ooh, people to be fetching no water. You put tap. Uh, Some bowl, tap. then they do bowl. You don't see Desmond Elliott's thing. Desmond Elliott, they do, um, what's you it called, up and down. Tap, then, they tell you. You know, it's basically like that. Yeah, that is well, uh, bro. That is where they enter the lunch world. Not the way they know they do that. Then they empower you. people with goats and chickens. Oh, yes, no. you don't understand. We they see all those Kata. things. Oh, no, Kata do okay. No, Kata do yeah. okay. Uh, we borrow. They will give you we borrow yeah. to push water. Yeah. You know. Then they encourage poverty for the country. They you understand? Are. That's what, that's yes. What it is. And that thing is so sad. So you at the end of the your children. We do empower your children. In that we same will way. Yeah, Exactly. So this is like you know. I saw what Cardi B said when she said, um, you know, people that are, that see people from the third world country and they think that are on the developed country and they're blaming the people. It's not the people. It's the government. Do you understand? And they are our problems. Because if they are not forward thinking, how do you expect the people to move forward? Yeah. I think they are very forward. I think they are forward thinkers, to be very honest. You but think? They just, yes, they they're are. Bro, these guys, see, they're not, a lot of these guys are they're more not exposed forward thinkers. than we are. They mm -hmm. just choose not to. Mm -hmm. That's how I see it, bro. These people, Absolutely they travel. Not. Bro, these people, they travel. They know the people system. People, they travel, now then they travel. Listen, hold on. These guys see all these things. Look, if you are, if you're a government official, the moment you travel and you meet with all these other countries and their leaders, you know what they're doing. They know their system. They know how their system works. They choose not to implement such system in our space. Do you understand? Uh, I'm no, not I'm against gonna, what gonna, you guys are I'm saying. Agree I'm only saying. You. I don't think is, everyone is exposed and everyone is a forward thinker in that space. But we need to go on a quick disc um, music break because this is still an entertainment show, not politics. Uh, let's leave it to plus politics to handle those kind of conversations. Marianne, we will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Thank you.